Hi, and welcome back to another Best Choice Review. Today, we're going to compare the DJI Mavic 3 and the DJI Mini 3 Pro drones. DJI is one of the leading manufacturers of drones at the moment, and two of its best drones are the Mavic 3 and the Mini 3 Pro. Choosing between these two drones can be confusing and daunting task, which is why we have charted a head-to-head -head comparison of these two models through extensive research and testing. This head-to-head -head rumble will have four rounds, design, camera, performance, and control. So by the end of this video, you'll have all the information you need to choose the best drone for your needs. For more information and updated prices, check the links in the description box below. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the thumbs up button for this video. Let's get started. Design and size. Both drones come in the same light gray color. They're both foldable, making them portable. The DJI Mini 3 Pro might just be the most portable drone launched by DJI as of yet. The drone measures 171 by 245 by 62 millimeters and weighs only 249 grams, which is why it's one of the smallest drones out there. When it's folded, it only measures 145 by 90 by 62 millimeters, making it easily fittable inside your bag. Imagine the ease of carrying it around. On the other hand, the DJI Mavic 3 weighs 900 grams and is one of the heaviest drones launched by DJI. It measures 322 by 242 by 84 millimeters, but is still shorter in size compared to other drones by DJI, so you don't have to worry about not being able to carry it around. This round really comes down to your preference. If you want a drone that you can fit in your bag, then the Mini 3 Pro is the right choice. However, if you don't mind carrying your drone around in your hand, you can go with the Mavic 3. Camera one of the primary reasons we want a drone is to get these amazing aerial videos of our hike, snowboarding, vacation, or even our neighborhood. So a high quality camera is very important feature for us. The DJI Mini 3 Pro has a 48 MP 1 and 1.3 CMOS camera and shoots video at 4K HDR. The CMOS sensor features dual native iOS, which allows you to get HDR footage. The f1.7 aperture ratio and 2.4 UM pixels allows you to capture vivid and clear images even when the light is very low. The high dynamic range of the camera makes all the shadows and highlights in the picture pop out, making the image look real and full of life. The drone also has a lot of extra features to ensure that you always get high quality photos. Its true vertical shooting features allows you to alternate between landscape and portrait modes with just a single touch. With this feature, the camera gimbal merely rotates 90 degrees without interrupting your video or photo capturing process. The D-Cine color mode of the camera makes your photos sharper and more vivid. The 1080p 120fps slow motion allows you to slow down and capture more details in your videos. Apart from this, the camera also features 4x digital zoom, so you can take closer images and videos of objects. There's also a hyperlapse feature that captures videos in time lapse, and the master shots features that take cinematic aerial images with a single touch. On the other hand, the DJI Mavic 3 has a dual camera system with a 20MP 4.3 CMOS with 24mm equivalent f2.8 11 lens, and a 12MP half CMOS with 162mm equivalent f4.4 lens. The 24mm autofocus lens gives a 84 degrees field of view, which is quite impressive when compared with most drone cameras. The cameras also have aperture adjustments, which lets you take vivid and clear photos even in the dimmest of lights. The main Hasselblad camera can shoot videos with a quality of 5.1K up to 50fps with DCI UHD of 4K up to 120fps, whereas the telecamera can shoot UHD 4K up to 30fps. Hasselblad is a Swedish camera brand known for its cameras, high quality captures. As such, the Mavic 3's camera enhances the highlights and shadows in the photos and captures rich images. The camera is integrated with the Hasselblad natural color solution technology, due to which it can capture real colors despite the lighting in the surroundings. Imagine not having to edit your photo after capturing it. The telephoto camera gives 28 by hybrid zoom meaning you can capture even the smallest of details. 
All in all, the Mini 3 Pro offers more features in its camera, like the true vertical shooting feature, whereas the Mavic 3 has a better quality dual camera system. So if you want more features in the camera, then you can go for the Mini 3 Pro. But if you want an extremely high quality camera, you should opt for the Mavic 3. Flight Performance if your drone's flight is not up to quality standards, well then, what's the point of that drone? The DJI Mini 3 Pro has a flight time of 34 minutes, but if you use the Intelligent Flight Battery Plus, the flight time increases to 47 minutes. It consists of OcuSync 3.0, which gives it a range of 12 kilometers. The drone uses Advanced Pilot System Program, APAS 4.0, to detect and dodge obstacles in real time. It also consists of multiple Intelligent Flight Modes. The Active Track 4.0 mode enables the drone to follow moving people and vehicles. The Point of Interest 3.0 mode flies the drone in a perfect circle at whatever radius and altitude you set. And the Spotlight 2.0 mode lets you zoom in while flying in a circle with the selected target at the center. On the other hand, the Mavic 3 has one of the longest flight times, 46 minutes, with a range of 15 kilometers due to the drone featuring OcuSync 5.0. The obstacle detecting and dodging of the drone is also commendable. It features several wide-angle vision sensors along with a high-performance vision computing engine that lets it easily detect obstacles and maneuver around them, no matter which direction they're coming from. The drone has an APAS 5.0 integrated into it, which makes it better than its contender at dodging obstacles while filming. Overall, the Mavic 3 has omnidirectional obstacle sensing allowing it to avoid hurdles from all sides and ensuring the drone is fully protected. The drone doesn't have many intelligent modes, but it does contain the master shot feature. It also features the return to home technology that lets the drone determine the best route home and fly home by successfully dodging all obstacles. So this round goes to Mini 3 Pro because of the multiple intelligent flight modes it contains. Even though its flight time is slightly less than the Mavic 3, that can be increased by using Intelligent Flight Battery Plus. Remote Controller Both drones come with the same remote controller, the DJI RC-N1. However, DJI has also manufactured special remote controllers for both drones. The Mini 3 Pro can be controlled by the DJI RC too. The remote controller has a built-in screen that allows you to see what your drone is seeing. It's also lightweight and easily carryable. On the other hand, the Mavic 3 can be controlled using the DJI RC Pro. The remote features an inbuilt tablet that also supports 4G. The display of the tablet is 1000 nit, giving you a clear and vivid view of what your drone is seeing. The remote also has OcuSync 3.0 Plus, which gives it a control range of 15 kilometers. Due to the features packed extra remote controller of the Mavic 3, it takes this round for us. So, which one should you buy? The two drones by DJI cut it quite close, and the real question is, which one should you get? The Mini 3 Pro is one of the cheapest drones out there, with the price of just $979 with a great return on your buck. It's extremely easy to use, making it beginner friendly. The drone also has multiple intelligent modes and camera features to help you capture visual pleasing photographs. As such, if you're on a budget and you're looking to learn to fly a drone, the Mini 3 Pro is probably the best choice for you at the moment. On the other hand, the Mavic 3 is one of the most expensive drones in the market, with a price of $2,669. However, the price is justified because it's indeed a premium drone that offers high range, long flight time, omnidirectional, obstacle sensing, and dual camera features that let you take impeccable photos. If you have the money and can handle an advanced drone, don't think twice and spoil yourself with this amazing model. And this is all we have for you today. Thanks for watching the video, and we hope we've helped you make the right decision. Let us know which DJI drone you'll buy in the comments below. And don't forget to like this video and hit that subscribe button on your way down. Stay tuned for the next video. See ya!